guys, Thunder here, and today we're gonna check uh, what's up with the internet. Wait a minute, Ant Man and the Wasp came out yesterday. I got nothing to do today. I was going to film a video about things on the internet. Maybe we should go see the movie, right? Yeah, let's go. Oh man, I'm so excited for this movie. What? What? Yeah! August 31st? Why is this movie coming out so late in Japan? Why? Why English movies take so long to come out in Japan? Maybe I should go and ask some people about it. Well, I think Japanese people have a little problem with English and maybe it takes time for them to get the grip of English. Movies with subtitles, maybe. Okay, so I think it takes like, I think it just takes a lot of time for movies to actually have a translation from like, English into Japanese, which I know is not, it's a little bit unfair because movies take three to four months longer than they do um, here, so... Everyone that I interviewed today told me that it's probably because it takes too long to translate, too long to adapt, but I don't think so. I don't agree with that, and here's why. Number one. Solo a Star Wars Story premiere in North America on May 25th which is not only an important date because it's the day Star Wars was born 41 years ago, but also the birthday of a very handsome guy. <coughs> Solo was released in Japan almost a month later, but then what was released on May 25th here? If you look at the releases that day, we see two foreign movies and four Japanese movies. One of them being A Wonderful Family. And this movie I'm going to be using for my point. On that weekend, Solo was the number one movie in North America. But in Japan, the story was different. You had Detective Conan's latest movie in number one because, you know, it's Conan, it's a big movie. But in second place, we have What a Wonderful Family, which premiered on May 25th. Oh, but Thunder, the movie just came out this week. It's normal for it to be up top five. True, but let's look at the following couple of weeks. The top 10 is largely composed of Japanese movies. Then, when Solo premiered, it immediately became number one, and to the time of this recording, it's still on top five. The reality is, Hollywood movies are as popular here as they are in North America. But at the same time, Japan also has an incredibly big movie industry that caters pretty much only to Japanese viewers. Look, we all know that these movies aren't cheap to make and they largely depend on people going to the theaters to watch them. So when big Japanese movies are about to come out, you don't want them competing with Star Wars. Because honestly, not even Hollywood movies want to compete against Star Wars. Which brings me to... Number two. Yeah, Avengers Infinity War released in Japan on the same day as in North America. And if you look on the opposite side of the spectrum, we have movies like Kick-Ass 2, which released five months later. Heck, the first one wasn't even released in theaters. If the reason why movies take so long to come out in Japan is because of translation and localization, shouldn't they all come late? Or, at the very least, within the same amount of delay. To further drive my point, I'll need you guys to believe a personal story. When I was younger and still lived in Brazil, my dream was to be a voice actor. I did quite a lot of uh, fan dubbings. Oi. Malditos. Não bloqueia a porta. I had contact with a lot of people from the industry. Now that I think of it, they could all be just creeps posing as voice actors. Anyways, one thing I learned from that experience is that dubbing studios receive movies to be translated months in advance, so they can actually have enough time to translate them. Which makes a lot of sense, because movies don't get finished and released the next day. They're finished at least three months before uh, their release, so studios have enough time not only to promote the movie, but to send copies to dubbing studios to be localized and translated. This is not an initiative by the dubbing studios. The dubbing studios don't go after the movie studios, 
to buy their movies to get released. It's the other way around. Why? Because the movie studios want their movies on as many countries as possible so as many people can see it and thus they make even more money. Translating a movie into Japanese is not harder than translating into Brazilian, Portuguese or Thai. Yet the same movie gets released first in Brazil and Thailand than Japan. What I'm trying to say is, the reason why movies come out so late in Japan is not because they have a hard time translating and localizing them, but because they want to prioritize their local movies and therefore protect their own industry. It is an approach that clearly works, since we have two new Japanese movies coming out basically every week. But it just sucks for people like me that want to go see Ant-Man and the Wasp and have to wait a month and a half to see it. So that's it for me today, guys. Um, I hope you liked this video. It's a new format that I'm trying to do on the channel, something that I really wanted to do, which is more investigative, more uh, text-based, uh, script-based uh, videos. So I hope you like it. Let me know if you agree with my opinion or you, if you agree with the people that I interviewed. Um, I also would like to thank the people that I interviewed for taking the time to talk to me and have a camera pointed at you, um, despite this channel not being that big. But yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. You know the deal. I see you guys in the next video. And bye-bye. Oh, speaking of movies, um, I am going to see Kamen Rider build Be The One in the Looper Ranger, Pato Ranger film. And I'm thinking of doing a frequent, frequent ask questions, spoilery and non-spoilery. So let me know in the comments below uh, if you have any questions that you want me to answer about the movie and I will uh, pick the best ones uh, if there are any to make this video. All right, thank you guys, bye.